By now, you've launched your rocket with the avionics bay safely mounted and have some altitude data to look at. This module deals with making the most out of that data and outlines some useful tools that you can use to make sure you learn as much as possible from it. If you simulated data beforehand or predicted what your flight would look like, this is a great opportunity to see how far off from reality those predictions were and why that may have been. It's also a good chance to see if the assumptions we made in developing our equations of motion were valid in real life. For example, if your predicted apogee was 200 feet and your rocket only went 160 feet, maybe you didn't account for air resistance, or maybe the rocket flew in a crooked path rather than the assumed perfectly vertical path. A useful tool to do this is graphing all your data. Looking at numbers is not intuitive and can be difficult, so creating visual plots helps you understand your flight far better. This module will walk you through some ways to do this, such as using Google Sheets to tabulate and visualize your flight data. Though in this course we stick to Google Sheets, industries often use different tools for data analysis. In industry, we have large amounts of data from test flights. The ability to use tools that scale well to larger data sets, for example, Python, helps us learn as much as we can from each test flight and make relevant changes to our designs. This helps companies iterate on their work often to yield a better final product.